My name is Ramsey Sieverts in PACE 315, assignment oral presentation number three. Interviewing somebody uh, with the questions, what is personal peace for them? How do they find it? And what do they do? I chose to interview someone named Catherine Manalo at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. She's been there for couple years now and I've also known her for a couple years. Uh, I chose her because she has a very strong personality, strong character. Uh, I personally witnessed her help some people uh, over the years including myself. So uh, what is a uh, personal peace for them? Well Catherine said that personal peace is really finding a place of neutrality. You know, not being too overly happy or emotional and sad, just kind of trying to remain real stable. Um, you know, uh, at times we'll be down or at times we'll be really excited, but something about uh, she believes that just trying to remain with like a simple disposition is the way to go and uh, keeps you strong. So how does she practice this personal peace? Um, mainly she practices personal peace by being alone. She feels that solitariness, uh, you know, just provides a time to reflect. You know, if you have problems, you can think about it and get over it. Just really offers you, you know, some you time. Um, and she feels that that's very important. So. Some of the things, uh, practices that she'll do is uh, yoga or stretching. She's uh, very familiar with yoga. She's been doing it for many years. So she'll either just do it at her house or even even better, she loves the outdoors which and she stresses that the outdoors is uh, a place of healing. So she'll take her yoga mat out and um, she'll go get some quiet time and some yoga time out outdoors in a beautiful place. Um, another aspect or, or pra practice that um, Catherine does to you know practice personal peace is surfing. She has been surfing since her dad taught her at the age of 11. So it's been, a, it's been quite some time that she's been surfing. She uh, explained to me that uh, surfing for her and for most people uh, just the whole deep appreciation about, first of all, the setting, which is uh, in the ocean, you know, you're smelling the salt water, you're paying attention to the wind, current, tides, swell, all of these factors. Um, and then you're surfing as well, um, looking out for the waves, positioning yourself, and then getting up and riding the waves. It's just an overall very uh, incredible experience, unlike a lot of other things um, outdoors, but just in the ocean with the elements. And uh, also, you're alone again. Sometimes it, she said she goes with friends, but most of all, she most of the time she goes alone, and it's great practice for peace. Um, if uh, she recommends that if you don't surf or if you don't do yoga, uh, easy ways to practice personal peace would be to listen to music, to go on hikes, or even breathing techniques. These are all uh, very easy practices to learn and to do and incorporate in your lives in your life. You know, music, everyone loves music. It's so readily available. Um, hiking, especially if you, we live in Hawaii, there's plenty of hikes. And then breathing techniques. You can never go wrong. It offers a very, puts you in a very nice place of deep relaxation. One uh, breathing technique that she explained that she likes to do is uh, breathe in through your nostrils, 
for four seconds, hold it for 10 seconds, and then exhale through your mouth for 14 seconds and you keep repeating the cycle and you really can achieve almost like a high just from the breathing technique. So for the people that really um, are down, she uh, like would like to recommend a thing that she likes to do called brain training. Um, basically, it's uh, changing your whole perspective on life, just trying to change your outlook um, to just the overall positive uh, mindset, you know, just reflect over everything, deep thinking, and uh, look at books or seek out help and just train your brain. She, she believes that that's um, very helpful. So um, a, a little bit about Catherine Manalo. She is 27 from Milani. Um, her parents are from the Philippines. She's uh, been my friend for a few years now. A good person. Um, a quote that I would like to give you um, from the book of People Power would be from Henry David Thoreau. Um, and it has to do with outdoors, just like Catherine loves. And the quote is, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately. And it's a beautiful quote. And just like Catherine, she, he and her stress that the outdoors brings personal peace. And in conclusion, conclusion I thought that uh, she gave such great advice. Um, you know, just try to remain stable, get outdoors, get those endorphins, get some reflection time. Thank you very much.